Hi guys, Freedy Hero here, and welcome to today's latest FNN news for Time for Two. This month's latest operation is called Operation Endeavor, which holds a bunch of new cosmetic items, a few new enhanced game modes, and some initial changes to gear and weapons. So firstly, the weapon skins. Respawn are releasing six new individual skins for the following weapons. The Cold War, the Double Take, the DMR, the G2, the R201 Carbine, and the R97. Now all the skins look amazing like always, so props to the art team, as I can definitely see the Masswork Double Take, Purple Fade G2, and the Phantom DMR being the most popular skins when released, as something about them gives off a eye candy look. All of these, like usual, will cost around $4.99 or £3.72, and can be purchased in a bundle as well for $19.99. Now I'm not sure on the date as to when this will last till, so it's probably going to be either a good two weeks before they eventually close the bundle package. We also have two new holiday banners coming as well with the DLC, which you can either earn in game or purchase if you have the credits. Now, next up is the new game modes being introduced. We have five new enhanced game modes that are slightly different than the current ones we have, but all of them are designed around for fun. So, these are the following modes Terrible LTS, last Titan standing game type with double core generation and dash regen rates. Everyone also has turbo engine kits. Spicy attrition. A attrition where everyone's ordnance ability is replaced with ticks. The other side, all phase attrition, rocket arena, live fire with modified EBGs and auto pistols, and turbo titan brawl. Titan brawl with double core generation and dash regen rates. Everyone also has turbo engine kits. Now all the gamers are absolutely amazing, and I believe currently on the Reddit Titan 4 2 forums, you can actually vote on which game mode you would like to see next week Tuesday. So if you go to Time for 2 Reddit forums, I believe it's the second link on the page, there should be a poll going on to which you can go ahead and pick which game mode you want. And one that wins the most is the one that will be the one shown on Tuesday. So good luck out there guys. These will most likely be introduced on a weekly feature mode per week, so you have a good amount of time to play them before they switch over to something else. So I advise you to try them all out when you get the time. And lastly, the patch notes. For this month, it is very small, as in only three things are being covered. So for starters, the grapple nerf has been reverted back to two charges rather than one, as the devs stated that after seeing the initial feedback from players and the small shift in tactical usage in game, they changed it back after the initial feedback they gathered, as they believed that what they went ahead with was not the right path they wanted to go with for the community. Which is pretty great and amazing news for many players that were disappointed in the change in the first place. Now, this is what many devs should try to be like. Understanding and always prepared to take on the initial feedback and adjustment and give a proper reasoning as to why they go ahead and do some of the changes. As for many devs, some devs choose not to listen to the community and I can tell you now, I've seen many times where the community has completely turned on the devs, turned on the game and the game just ends up having no player base. Right here we have an example of where the devs went ahead, changed something that was incredibly popular with the player base, and instead of giving a half ass reason as to why they changed it, they gave us a proper reasoning as to why they changed it, and said that they'd be looking over the data to see how things change, and decided to change it back, seeing that Grapple was very popular, and many players even stated that they would leave the game if Grapple would be stated like this. So I'm quite happy that Respawn actually listened to us and actually changed it back to something a bit more freely, more flexible, something that actually fits into Titanfall. Next is the G2. The G2 received a slight adjustment for when it fires on console, as now every time you fire it, it will now uh, it will now drift upwards, to which in a way was done to balance out the weapon. I don't know if this will change the weapon completely, but I, I have heard many people complain about how the G2 is way too accurate on console, and I have seen first hand and personally used it, the G2 is scarily too accurate. And I know it's a, I guess in a way, scout rifle, so it should be accurate, but it shouldn't be accurate to the point of where I should be I should be getting headshots over someone over long distances and basically out damage someone that's using a sniper rifle. It shouldn't be the case. If I'm using a DMR and someone else is using a G2 and they're able to out snipe me with the G2, you can clearly see something's not right there. But for the time being, we'll have to see how the weapon acts. And lastly, Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro will receive a minor optimization for when playing Type for 2. 
of what? I don't call you know because I haven't stated it in the link. So that is the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. This was quick and brief like usual because they don't really provide us with a lot of information lately. But I guess this is the kind of pattern they're going to be going with. So sorry guys, but this is all we currently got. So that's the end of my video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by means leave a dislike. I understand. I'll look back over the video and I'll see what I need to adjust in the near future. So once again guys, thank you all for watching and I do hope to see you again soon.